Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Two questions that have come in recently that I feel comp compelled to answer. Uh, I'll do the easy one first. This question came in also um, last year and probably the year before that. Uh, it has to do with um, when we create the calendar, why do we front load the makeup days with holidays rather than fronting, front loading um, makeup days with bank days. In other words, the first couple of days we miss because of, of uh, weather, we, um, we take a, a holiday in February and then we take a parent, I think a parent teacher conference day in March, I think that's what we did. Um, and the reason we do that is simple because we, first and foremost, we value instruction and uh, we wanna protect learning time as best we can. So we, our first um, couple of makeup days are actual uh, holidays slash parent teacher conference days. We prefer that because we feel like it better protects instructional time for students. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the second question has to do with lice, everyone's favorite subject, lice. And uh, just to, to give you a quick background, uh, we were we were we along with every other school division, I guess, in the country, were. Um, notified or uh, it was recommended to us that we adjust our lice policies and this came from both the Centers for Disease Control and from AAP which I believe stands for the American Association of uh, Pediatrics. Um, both of these organizations recommended that we no longer send students home when it is discovered that they have lice or is suspected that they have lice. Um, it was, uh, it, and this came about as a result of apparently their empirical study. And these are, again, these are physicians and scientists who determined that um, lice is not spread prior, uh, contrary to popular belief that it's not spread uh, student to student at school, that it's something that is um, brought and carried and manifested in, in people's homes. Uh, so they recommended that we no longer send students home when they it's when suspected or discovered that they have lice. So um, what we what we've done now, of course, is we notify the parent of the of the student, obviously, and provide recommendations for how they can treat. And uh, that was that policy change occurred during the summer. Now what's happened, of course, is people don't really aren't paying close attention typically to what actions the school board takes, but when uh, cases of lice started popping up in schools, uh, particularly this winter, uh, well, fall and winter really, uh, we started getting questions about why we weren't sending kids home. This is mainly from school teachers and staff. Uh, not in an ugly way, just wanting to know why. We shared, well, this, this is why we shared this information from Center for Disease Control and from AAP. And uh, that, that sort of is what it is. And th these folks know better than we do, um, clearly. And again, if you'd like to reference this, you can actually, if you Google, which is what I did, Google Center for Disease Control Education or Schools and Lice, uh, you'll, you, there will be plenty of information that will pop up. And the same with AAP. If you do uh, type in or Google AAP and uh, Schools and Lice, etc., it'll, it'll, you'll find the same information, um, virtually identical information. So, um, I hope this has been helpful to you, and uh, please keep the good questions coming. This is this is an important topic. It's one that really gets parents' attention uh, for obvious reasons. Um, but again, our, our goal in the end is to do what's best for, for students and to not do something that's really unnecessary. All right, thanks very much.